if you watched yesterday's video, you're gonna see really quickly <laughs> that I'm literally picking up where we left off. Today is finally the day where I get to wrap presents for Christmas. And I'm so tempted right now to go and edit two different videos that I have to edit. And they're fun videos. It's, if you haven't watched my news from the last two videos, um, go watch those because I'm, I'm kind of proud of myself. So go watch those. Um, this is empty, <laughs> empty box. It is time, finally. The kids are all in school. There's no snow on the ground. It's sunny. I'm gonna watch Netflix. I'm gonna turn on a Christmas movie. Jason and I always watch um, either The Holiday or Love Actually. So it feels kind of wrong for me to watch those without him. We have been trying to do this on a day he was home and it just was not possible. He's like, well, let's wrap presents like last night. And I was, I went to bed at eight. I was like, nope, I'm, I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm done for the day. After yesterday's video, not even, whatever. It was a long day and I, I had had it. Okay, let me just show you what I've got set up and then I've gotta go find all the presents. That's like the biggest problem that I've had in the past is that I hide them too well. Leave a comment below. As moms or parents or kids, whatever, do you hide presents so well that you can't find them? And do you find them in time for Christmas? because I haven't found them in time for Christmas before. So I've been meticulous on where I've put them. I just had to make sure that I can actually remember where they all are. So hang on. All right, so here is my setup. I'm trying to not show packing labels <laughs> for my address. So I've got a table here that we're gonna wrap on. And then I've got my box of stuff here. These bags are the ones I just barely got from the dollar store. And they're gonna get stuck down into the bag a little bit better. And then I've got tissue paper, again, that I just stocked up on. We'll put that down there. Bags, bags. And then I've got, see there's a Sharpie. I just got the Sharpie and labels. So here, let me show you how this whole bin works. Look at that. All of this can come out. And then underneath, I have tissue paper reused. We can do that, it's all fine. I have all of my boxes, small, some medium, and then my large ones. And they're all repacked and reused from last year. I've got more tissue paper re reused from last year. It's all good, you guys. It's all going back in the same boxes for the same gifts with the same kids. <laughs> they don't care. So then I've got all of these bags. These are some of my favorite bags that I you know, like to use. And so I've got all the bags that I can use right here. I don't think I will use large ones necessarily like I've done in the past. I don't necessarily have large ones, large gifts, I should say. This is my biggest gift so far, and I'm just gonna wrap the box because the box itself is like, that doesn't lead any description and it'll be easy to wrap. So I don't think I'll need to use the big bags. So these bags, like I said, they're just gonna go and I'm gonna tuck them down into the, bag, the, the bin just for easy access. I know where all the bags are and tissue paper will go on the floor. And then here is my bin for all of this stuff. That actually can go to a party bucket. That's just an extra tablecloth from Thanksgiving but I will pull out all of my labels. There's a little wrapping paper cutter. I'm gonna pull out all of the labels that I'm gonna use, stick them there. These are previous ones. I don't have enough to make them all the same, so we'll save these ones for kids. Like this one says to Callie from Chelsea. <laughs> she spelled her name wrong, her own name. Chelsea spelled her own name wrong. Um, what do I have? These are just more little labels or tags that I can put on gifts. Um, these are little gift bags. I probably will use these for my little church kids that I teach at church. I'm going to do like a little gift bag for them on Sunday. Let's see what else we have in here. Just other, these are just like leftover sets that I'm going to try and use for like kid gifts or family gifts or like ext extended family gifts because I do, I'm like a little OCD. I do like to have like the same labels on all of my gifts. So and I like them to match the wrapping paper. So then here's some Christmas cards. If I don't get actual Christmas cards, actual family pictures um, for you guys, I'll use those ones for you guys if you want us to send a card. 
I'll leave a comment down below if you want to privately message me your address for a Christmas card. You can either private um, privately send me your address over on Instagram and in a DM or just mail us a Christmas card yourself if you want and then I'll have your address and um, you can just send that to our PO box. The PO box is down below. But I do plan on sending Christmas cards to you with our family photo. We just don't have a family photo yet. It still hasn't happened. <laughs> I think we could have done it on Sunday, but Jason took the kids skiing. Okay, back to wrapping. Also, because I need to actually get, I need to actually start wrapping. So here's all the tape. I have hidden this. Tape goes fast in our house. And so I have hidden these in this bucket because I did not want to not have it. Here's some actual packing tape that's like hallow or holiday um, size. If I have like big boxes like this that I need to like seal up, I just use like holiday packing tape instead of like tape tape because this won't make it stick. So I've got a ribbon here that I can tie things with. I don't tend to do big bows and such. I only have white left in like the curly ribbon. Um, oh, I did get this this year. I'm excited to use that too. It's a um, wrapping paper cutter. I don't even know if it's going to fit around that or if it like can like, I don't know, extend and go wider. So I've got to go find all the presents and we are just, I'm literally just going to dive in. I've got to turn on a show and dive in because we need to get going on this. Okay, I've got to hide some of the gifts. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed because as I'm getting things out, I'm finding like all my marshmallows and candy canes that I've hid from the kids. I haven't had breakfast yet. My hash brown. So I need to come out of the oven. We ended up having to stop everything that I was doing. I got a text alert. Alexa off. That um, the drives opened up for Abby to start signing up for, for her driver's ed. So then I was like, dude, those slots are hard to come by. Unfortunately, we didn't get the driver that I wanted her to get. Um, he literally didn't have anything available aside from her first observation appointment, which is kind of a bummer because um, he's a really good instructor, but Abby's a really good driver, so I think she'll be fine no matter who she has. So I had to stop and do that, and then now, as I've been getting all the stuff out, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. I know that I did not go overboard. Oh, I'm still Marco Poloing my sister. <laughs> this is what I'm doing. Like I'm responding to my sister without giving away some of the gifts. Let me just show you. I've got them in boxes. I've got them in bins and bags and target bags. Ugh, this is all stocking stuff. I'm trying to put all the stocking stuff into this bag, but I know I just got more stocking stuff yesterday and now I can't remember where I put it just yesterday. Like this is insane. Okay, I know I left, I might have left some stuff in the car, in the back of my car from yesterday. Let's go see if it's there. I found one thing, not what I was thinking of. Where did I put? I literally just put it yesterday. I came home from Target. I told you guys, I came home from Target. Where did I put it? It's not as important that I find it now because it's just stocking stuff, but I do need to find it. Complete side note, um, <laughs> if you know me in my laundry routine, you'll know that this is very not okay for me. These are all the socks from three different loads of laundry and my pants that I changed out of to work out into these shorts yesterday, but I have had a cut on my finger right here, a blister that popped. I could not fold socks. It was snagging on my cut and I couldn't fold them through three loads yesterday and the day before. <laughs> so I have not folded socks. The kids are starting to kind of get annoyed with me because they love having their baskets all organized and they know where their socks are. So this is starting to bother them. That's how well my system works, you guys. When it doesn't work, that's when they start to notice. But I also have all of this stuff. Ooh, is this it? Is this it? No. Okay, this is for my sister. So hopefully she's not watching. Um, do I have more up here? I can, yes, yeah, I can use that. Oh, I can't find what I'm looking for. This is for gingerbread houses. I'm going to put that where that goes. I have a box out here for all the gingerbread making kits. This is like leftover Halloween candy that we can use. 
And then we have our kits right here. Our little house kits right there. But I've been collecting the candy and whatnot and I've just been putting it into this box. Okay, now to find the other things. All right, so I've got all this stuff that I'm taking to my family, trying to decide how to wrap it or not wrap it um, before we get there because these boxes are going to take up too much room in the car. But it's like, my, these are a gift to my dad. So I don't really want to not have a box because that's super easy to wrap up. So I'm just going to put all my family gifts right here. I've got to figure out how to wrap that stuff later. All right, this gets a bit tricky to show you guys because um, I can't show you all their presents. But what I've done, um, maybe I can like modify and hide some of the things here because I do want to show you some of the process. Hang on. Okay, very discreetly, we know we order from Shein, so it's fine. I have them in groups per person um, and they're all lined up. I also have some on the floor for Jason. I have another one on the floor for Kaylee. Um, I have a whole bunch of empty boxes now and I have the wrapping set up. So, what I tend to do is go through everyone's gifts and wrap each individual person's gifts at the same time. And even then, when I start, I will start with clothing. I am actually waiting on packages today for one of my kids. Um, but I will start with clothing and I will unpack them from their packaging. And then I will put them in to the boxes, the wrapping boxes, the white ones down there get the tissue, make it a nice box. I'll box all of those up and then I will wrap all of that person's presents and put them all under the tree. That way, if I run out of time, something comes up, an emergency, I can take each of these individual sets of gifts for each kid and I can stick it all in a box and then it's all contained and I can grab that box when I have more time. I'm hoping I can get it all done today. I only have an hour and a half left. It's 11.30. I really need to be done by one um, because I have to make cookie batter for Ashley for her therapy. We've learned that's a good distraction for her therapy. I don't know that I need a whole hour, so maybe I have two hours. I gotta go. I gotta. I gotta start wrapping. And then while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. All right, I've officially done one child. <laughs> that's all I've done. It's 12, 12, 12, 18. I mean, and I have 40, 50 minutes or so to work on all the rest. All right, I gotta stop for a second. Um, here's a tip when doing um, gift bags as a gift, and especially if you wanna reuse the bag, put the tag on the tissue paper. So <laughs> that is not all I've got done. I've got a few more right here, but I've gotta stop and go make some cookie dough. So this is all I've got done so far. And I do think I need to add more gift bags, both for the aesthetic and to kind of break up the monotony of the wrapping paper because that's the only one I'm using. I've got to use it up this year, but also to just kind of um, have a little bit of a different look to it. So I'm, I'm all about getting it done, but all about having it look pretty at the end as well. So kind of weird that way. All right, I've kind of had to rebox them back up. One, one, and one. And then I'm going to wrap that. Obviously, we see what that is. I'm going to wrap that. As soon as I get access to this box right here, and Ashley can see that one. She's gonna be home in less than an hour. Sorry, I'm out of breath. This, again, is all the stuff that is going to my family back home. I will wrap that all up a different time. But because I know Ashley's gonna wanna help wrap with me, I'm gonna leave this stuff out here and we can wrap after her therapy call. Um, but I'm gonna stop here. In fact, there's one gift right here in my hand. We can wrap, I just need to do the dough first and then I'll probably come back and wrap that but while I get the dough made um, I'm going to eat because I'm very hungry also have all the receipts from all those boxes um, marshmallow just marshmallow but I'm gonna hurry make some ginger cookie dough and if I don't have molasses I just thought of this I better have molasses or else I don't know what I'm going to do. Heavens to Betsy, this better be enough molasses for these cookies. Let's go out.
outside, the snow is falling down And every child is having so much fun The snowman is twice the size as me With a smile as quirky as mine We're holding hands to keep each other warm While we stand and watch a choir perform And all the Christmas songs that we love Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love and in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe baby with you Ooh, I don't need any presents Alright, cookie dough is done. I'm gonna put that in the fridge clean up a little bit of the mess here, get ready to stage therapy, and I have 20 minutes, 22 minutes to be exact. Ooh. All right, it has been a long afternoon. Therapy went well. She made her cookies. That that method worked. We just kind of touched on some su touchy subjects that ended up needing to have side conversations for with me afterward, and then I you know, she calmed down and we wrap presents. Actually, that's all I've been doing. Let me go show you um, in the other room how many I have wrapped. And I'm quite literally only halfway done. <laughs> mm, I have Kaylee done. I have Chelsea done. Chelsea is done. I have one more, but I'm not going to pull that present out until later. It's hidden in a safe spot. But let me show you. How much I've gotten done. I forget how many cookies this um, recipe makes. It's quite nice. So I've got the wrapping stuff all tucked away. This is all garbage but boxes. I might still um, use these boxes to wrap with so I'm not going to get rid of them. I have a garbage bag I'm going to take out to recycle now and my bin I am going to finish tomorrow. I'm pretty determined even though I have a lot of editing to do now I am pretty determined to get this done tomorrow if I can. I gotta look at my schedule. Um, I'm just gonna take the, full, the table down and just kind of fold it up against the, the wall over there. But this is how much I have gotten done today. I feel like I really like broke through and got a ton done. Um, I got a lot of you know these boxes that have clothes in them. My, my kids ask for a lot of clothes especially the older girls getting the boxes out, getting the tissue paper out, like that takes some time. Um, luckily all of these boxes had it left over from last year. So that really helped. Ashley was able to like make those boxes for me, prep them, put the clothes in, and then I was able to wrap them. It doesn't really give away what it is. They all asked for it. <laughs> so um, that is what I've got done so far. And I feel a lot less stressed about having gotten it done. But uh, I have 45 minutes or so until I have to take Ashley to cheer and I think I'm going to sit down. Jason got me Cafe Rio last night. Me and Kaylee, Ashley. So I'm going to enjoy that because I'm still very hungry. I've really not eaten well. I don't really like that I do this to myself. I get so busy and wrapped up in time frames and things that I have to get done and I stop, don't stop to eat. And uh, I know it's not that great for me. So I'm gonna get that food, get that steak and that protein in me. Um, I'm trying to not eat past seven o'clock at night and it's already 4.30. So I gotta hurry and eat so that I don't feel like I'm full, or I feel like I'm full for the rest of the night. Also, because I'm all kind of, not sweaty, I'm not hot and sweaty and stuff, but just whatever I might take out you know if I were to like get ready for bed I might actually take a shower it's kind of just how I feel so if I feel like that and I have not gotten my steps in um, I think I'm only at like 4,000 steps for the day I'm because I haven't had time to hop on a treadmill I think I might just put my workout clothes on when I take Ashley to her tumbling class and just walk at their track and just get my steps in that way and um, that way I wait for her. I don't waste gas going back and forth. And Jason doesn't have to trade me places and go and get her. He wants to work out here at home. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. But I gotta hurry and eat. I gotta hurry and eat. This looks so good. 
I'm so excited. If you don't have a Cafe Rio near you, I'm so very sorry. So good. Extra sauce. It's all about the sauce. All right, we are taking Ashley to cheer right now, and a cop just pulled in behind me. No, I'm not getting pulled over, but he had pulled in behind me and stopped traffic behind me, and I think the accident is up ahead of me, and we're all blocked in the middle of it, and I need to get three car lanes up. You can see right over here by these lights, I can turn left. Ooh, sweet, one car just did it. If enough people can just go ahead and turn left up there, we can get out of this mess and work our way around. But right now, I'm kind of blocked in. The fun thing is we get to drive through town a different way and see all the pretty lights. So that's kind of fun, all the Christmas lights. Well, this is causing quite the backup. We're three minutes late for cheer, not for cheer, for tumbling. And cheer. Uh, I think everyone's gonna be late stuck in this. Mm -hmm. All right. Ashley has been at cheer and tumbling for an hour and a half now and has an hour left. I, on the other hand, just walked my 10,000 steps. I got here at 3,000 steps for the day and walked another seven. Actually, I've walked about 8,000. I'm coming up on 11,000 steps. So, well, my feet kind of hurt and kind of tired. So I'm coming back to the car and go get a drink. Ashley has my water and uh, she has it in her room and stuff. I'm gonna go get a drink and uh, hang out in my car for a bit and then we might call it good. I'm just tired and uh, yeah. All right, so current day, this is the next day from the video you guys just watched. I totally forgot to end that video because um, we ended up getting home late from cheer and we all just went straight to bed. Ashley and I both got in the shower really quick and then we went straight to bed. The funny thing is when we were on our way home, I ended up having to take um, Ashley's friend home from cheer. And while we were on our way home, a friend of mine called from another friend's house and she said, do you have any uh, sweetened condensed milk? And I said, I'm not home, but I can call Jason and ask if he has it or you can wait for me, you know. And I said, but I'm right by your house. Like at the time I was right by that friend's house. And, and I was like, how come you're asking me for a sweetened condensed milk? Like by the time you drove to my house to get it, you will have passed like four stores. <laughs> and she's like, because I'm by your house. I'm at another friend's house that I'm by your house. Anyway, I didn't have any sweetened condensed milk. And I said, well, I'm headed home toward where you're at. I'm gonna pass the four stores. So why don't I just run to the store for you and I'll go and get your sweetened condensed milk. So then we dropped Ashley's friend off, ran to the store, got sweetened condensed milk, um, took it to her and they were making black licorice. And I <laughs> don't know why, on a Wednesday night they were together and they were making black licorice. But when I got there, um, the mom that was that has the house, it's the mom that has the kitty cat that we go and babysit. Um, and Ashley wanted to go and see the kitty really quick, um, but it was bedtime and I didn't want to get in the way of, or whatever. But luckily all the kids but two were at home and one of them had just started getting sick. Ear infection and possible pink eye. And so the mom, my friend, ended up like getting stuck in her daughter's bedroom trying to take care of her. And the other friend that was there visiting, she's like, Tina, I kind of need you to stay and help me make the licorice. <laughs> so we're both like stirring pots on the stove, making this licorice. Ashley's playing with the cat, right, Ash? It was quite fun. And, and then I stayed and just chatted and then we kind of made a plan for the mom to call her telehealth doc and make an appointment to get her daughter's ear infection medication um, just over the computer. <laughs> so that's kind of how our night ended. So by the time I got home, it was like 9.30 and Ashley and I showered and we went to bed. We were just tired. After I got my, yesterday I ended up getting almost 13,000 steps in. So going to the, the community center and doing the walk while she was, excuse me, going to the community center and doing the walk while Ashley was doing cheer was very beneficial for me. Um, 
I am completely enjoyed that. And uh, that's it, that, that was our night. I just wanted to like kind of fill you in. Sometimes I leave things off at the end of the day, but I just wanted to explain um, that for this one, it was kind of a fun night. Um, obviously I didn't film it because um, I was at someone else's house, but anyway, take care and we'll see you guys in today's video tomorrow. <laughs> Night guys. Of kindness yet.